Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss another topic. In the last class we had discussed about angles. So we are going to discuss today about triangles. So it's kind of rhyming angles triangles. So before starting this, we already know what is a triangle. We have read it in our earlier smaller classes. It is a the shape is also very much clear to us. But still, we will first of all know what is the definition of triangles. So, a triangle is a three-sided polygon. Now, we know what is a polygon as well as because we have read it in our earlier classes. And by the definition of polygon itself, we can find out a conclusion about this triangle that it is the smallest polygon. Why? Because if you remember correctly, the, according to the definition of a polygon, a polygon is any geometrical figure having at least three sides or three line segments, made up of three line segments at least. So if you uh, see that or if you take into consideration this fact, then you will find out that triangle is, only, uh, triangle is that geometrical figure having three sides. Correct? So it is the uh, smallest polygon you can say or the polygon with the least number of sides. Clear? So let us see one diagram of a triangle. Now you can see here you might seem that these are uh, some kinds of lines because there are arrow marks on both the sides. Yes, in fact you are correct. There are These are made of three lines you can see. But what happens when this line intersects? They form line segments. If you remember it correctly, according to the definition of intersecting lines, then intersecting lines, they intersect say this line and this line, they intersect at point B, this line and this line intersect at point C and this line and this line intersect at point A. So when they intersect, they have also formed line segments. So the line segments are AB, BC and AC or CA, whatever you say. So these line segments have formed what? It has formed a triangle. So what is the name of this triangle? In the above triangle, it can be named as triangle ABC. And it, if you see properly, this symbol, this, this is the triangle symbol. And we don't write it as in words triangle ABC. But we use this symbol to denote that this figure is a triangle. Clear? So as we have discussed, it has three sides. So which are the three sides? The three sides are nothing but the three line segments which formed this polygon or which formed this triangle you can say. So these three sides are AB. We have to give a bar. Don't forget that the line segments are denoted by a bar in the top as you can see here. Then line segment BC. This is another side and another side is CA. Clear? Now also it has some angles. Since it is triangle, so by the name itself we know there are three angles formed in a triangle. So which are the three angles formed? Angle B, A, C. You can see here angle B, A, C. This one. Then angle B, C, A. Angle B, C and A. This one. This angle. And angle A, B, C. Angle A, B and C. So that means this angle clear now there are also something called the vertex we have read about this also in our earlier classes so which are the vertex the intersecting points of course so the vertex will be here the points a b and c they are the vertices there is a plural form vertices of the triangle clear now the next topic is parts of a triangle just like parts of a curve parts of an angle the same thing the parts of a triangle so already you got the answer I guess there are yes of course there are three parts a triangle is made up of so which are the three parts as usual interior that is the inside of the triangle boundary that is on the triangle and exterior that is outside the triangle so this will be clear with the help of a diagram as well as with the help of some points so as you can see there are three points P Q and R so let us see which lies in which region. 
the point P is in the interior of the triangle. Obviously, it is very much clear inside this 3 or inside the boundary it is. So, obviously, it is interior. Then point Q lies on the triangle. It lies on the boundary itself. And point R is totally in the exterior or outside of the triangle. So, these are the three parts of a triangle. I hope you all have understood it. It is very much easy to understand. Uh, so, you can again go back to your textbook. You can see for yourself and draw for yourself. You can draw it out and see for yourself which are the different angles formed, the different uh, sides and the interior exterior parts of the triangle. All this you can try it out by yourself. So, that's it then. Thank you and have a nice day.